Good morning, everyone. I am going to be making a crock pot hamburger potato soup. It is so good. Literally hardly any hands-on time, and it is probably one of the best soups I've ever made. It's delicious, and nothing says comfort on a cold fall day like some cheesy, creamy potato soup, at least to me anyways. So let's get started. So to my cast iron skillet, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Over here I have a large onion, some carrots, and some celery chopped up. I'm also going to be using uh, one pound of ground beef. In the crock pot, I already have about six medium-ish potatoes just cubed up. I left the skins of mine on. You can certainly peel the skins off if you want, but I kind of like the, the skins on. And season it with salt and pepper. And you're gonna cook this until the meat is cooked through and the onions are nice and translucent. So the meat's about halfway cooked. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. You know, measure garlic with your heart, not a spoon. <laughs> and then just gonna continue to cook this. So again, I have my potatoes in here. I've covered them with water. I just added the burger, onion, and garlic mixture. Then I'm gonna throw the celery and carrots in. And now I'm gonna add some dry chicken soup base. You can use beef if you would like. That was maybe about a half a cup. I'm gonna grab some oregano. Mm. Nothing like oregano from your own garden. It's wonderful. All right, and that's pretty much it for now. This is gonna go on low, and this is gonna cook for about six hours while I'm busy doing other things. And then I'll be back and we'll finish it up. All right, my friends, it has been many, many hours later. 
the potatoes are nice and tender. The carrots, onions, celery, everything is beautiful. I'm just gonna take my potato masher and I'm just gonna, just a couple, a couple times go through, mash a little bit. Cause I do like a chunky potato soup. I like it like me, chunky baby. <laughs> I've got some milk here. You can use heavy cream if you prefer. And some cheddar cheese. I would say that is probably about two cups. I'm gonna add all of it. This is not a healthy dish. Don't come at me. It's not healthy, but it's delish. And then I'm gonna give it a taste and we'll see if we need to adjust any seasoning. Hopefully I don't burn my face off. I have a feeling I'm gonna burn my face off, guys. Yep, gonna burn my face off because I just burnt my hand off. Gonna burn the, burning the face off is gonna commence. I'm burning my face off. Ugh, tastes amazing. Very delicious. And I'm just going to let this, it's on warm. And I'm just going to let this go until we are ready to eat dinner. Uh, so what I will do is when I dish it up, I might add a little bit of sour cream as if we need more fat, right? But hey, fat girls like fat, so. Or well-fed, well-fed women like sour cream. So I might add a little bit of sour cream to the bowl. And I have some green onions from the garden, probably the last of the year. And I will chop that up and put that on top, but other than that, Chef's Kiss, it's delicious. Um, very good. One of our favorite soups. I hope you give this recipe a try. I will leave a picture at the end of this video to show you what the finished bowl looks like. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to see what I'm up to. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. And until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.